so today's video is going to be a nice purple smoky eye and I think that this look is so so pretty. I love experimenting with purples because purple can be used on any eye color and it will just enhance it. So if you guys could see this, it's really nice. It accents my color really nicely and I just, I really like it. Sorry, I'm like looking myself in the, um, in the screen, but I really love this look and it's just so vibrant yet like smoky at the same time. And I think that it will flatter a lot of people. So I'm just using this palette, the Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette. And I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is prime your eyelids. So I'm taking Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and just priming my lids with that. Okay, so just spread it over your top lid with your ring finger. Okay, the next thing you want to do is apply a purple eyeshadow base, and I'm using the Urban Decay Glide On Shadow Pencil in Delinquent. And what I'm doing is I'm just applying this to the outer part of my lid, not moving it into the crease. Then what you want to do is just blend that out. Blend it out and also blend it in towards the inner part of your eyelid too. But you just want most of the concentration to be on this outer area. Okay, so I'm taking my first eyeshadow from this palette, and this is called Smoking Jacket, and it's just this really pretty, like, purple-bluish silver color. Okay, so taking that on a flat shading brush, I'm just going to pat this over the top of the eyeshadow base, and then kind of blend it in to the inner area. So just... Kind of concentrate it more on that outer edge and then just sweep it in lightly just so that you don't have a high concentration of color on the inner part of your eyelid. Okay, and then what I like to do is I just like to take my ring finger and just blend that out. It helps blend out the base and the eyeshadow together. Then I'm going to be taking this next color and it's called Up in Smoke. It's this like satin dark brown color. Taking that on an angled shading brush, I'm just going to define my crease and work it a little bit up. And then with the same brush, kind of just make a diagonal line. It's going to be harsh at first, but then just keep doing that from the lid up until you reach that part of the crease. And this just instantly makes it a little bit more smoky. This is the easiest way to do a smoky eye, in my opinion. And then next I'm going to be taking Smokin' Hot, which is just a matte black. These are really easy to find. Um, I think most of these colors can actually be duped, except for the purple one. I don't really have a color like that and don't know where you could find one, but I'm sure you could just look for a cool purple color. And you just place the black over with a pencil brush. Or like any defining brush and just place it over okay that so brown. to get everything blended out like we have over here I'm just going to take that brown again and just kind of blend it okay then I'm going to be going into this color called firefly and it's a really pretty like tannish highlight shade and this is just like a satin finish it's like kind of frosty but I actually like that look So I'm just going to be adding that to the highlight. Okay, so I already cleaned up the areas that needed to be kind of cleaned up and smoked out a little bit more. Um, but I had to do that off camera so I could see in a really good mirror. But just um, just kind of play with the eyeshadows to make them look a little bit more smoked out. I just need like a better mirror to do that. But anyway, then I'm going to be taking the delinquent eyeshadow pencil again. And I'm going to be just putting it on the under my eyelid. And then kind of blending that out and then just putting a little bit in the kind of like waterline area. Okay, and I'm just adding a little bit of that firefly color again to the inner area that just like light goldish tan. And then I'm taking that purple color and just reinforcing that on the lid just because it gets lost kind of. And then under the outer corner underneath my eye. And then just keep this vibrant purple, like the vibrant purple base, because you don't want it to get too smoky because then you kind of lose the purple up here with all the blacks. So I like just adding this like pop of like electric purple underneath the lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to be using my Milani Easy Liner for um, my eye liner. 
And then I'm also just going to um, up line the tight line and just kind of the outer area of my eye. And then focus on the inner part, but don't focus on making like a neat straight line. Just focus on like filling in the space between your lashes so that the base of your lashes looks a lot thicker. Taking that matte black again on a flat liner brush, I'm just kind of patting that over. And just, it smokes it out a little bit more. You can get it into your outer corner as well. And that just gives like a really defined smoky look. So I'm going to do my mascara and then I will be right back to show you guys how I finish the look. Okay, so I applied two coats of the Maybelline Turbo Volume Express Mascara. And you guys can see how this just really brings out the brown in my eyes. It just makes them look more like just out there brown. So I hope that you guys could see that. And then taking an e.l.f. blush in my favorite, favorite blush, um, the Rimmel lasting finish blush. I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Um, I didn't do my foundation so heavy right now so you guys can kind of see my acne scarring but um, usually if I was doing like a full face of makeup like actually going somewhere which I'm going to work later but I'll touch this up um, then I would do like a full face of like heavy foundation but um, yeah oh I'm using as a highlighting I'm using um, the uh, Desert Star Luminous Blush Highlighter from Victoria's Secret and usually I would use like a golden highlighter with this but I just think that this gives like a nice like it just goes with the look a little bit better. Then I'm using my favorite lipstick of all time Maybelline Warm Me Up from the Co Color Sensational line. You do not have to be super precise with this lipstick. And that is a finished look. I hope that you all like this look and I will talk to you all later. Please request any tutorials that you all want to see and have a great day. Bye guys!